mind my hair guys but hi Taurus <laughs> welcome to your July reading this is for anybody that has their Sun moon rising midheaven and or Venus in the sign of Taurus however if you just happened upon this video or you are intentionally cross-watching for somebody that you're interested in I'm sure there's a message in here for you and I hope that it finds you well um, a couple of changes my name for the channel has changed I have decided to incorporate my actual name into the channel I like the play on words and I like that it is just more authentic to self so that is a change and hopefully the last name brand change I do but other than that I have decided to stick with the pre-shuffling and pulling of the cards beforehand because nobody has given me feedback and it just helps me with time so those are the updates just to keep you in the loop of what's going on but let me get into what is happening in your life for July what came up for you was the three of swords followed by the page of cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, coming into the mid-month and your obstacles, you have the Magician card, followed by the Six of Cups and the Six, sorry, Seven of Swords. Okay, and then the last week of July, ways to overcome these energies, you have the Knight of Wands followed by the Six of Wands and the Ace of Swords with the Star card. Okay, so some of you guys with this Three of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles energy, I feel like some of you are um, so focused on the past that you can't even see what's right in front of you. right so focused on the pain and past betrayal and just your mistrust of people that you can't even recognize the opportunities that are right in front of your face I feel like you guys are concentrating on the wrong thing I feel like some of you guys are just in a funk and you don't know how to get yourselves out of it, especially with this Magician card, because the Magician is an alchemist, somebody that knows how to manifest, somebody that can um, alter states of reality, really. Alter consciousness is in control of self, mind, body, spirit, soul, in control of one's emotions, right, in control of one's destiny to some degree. As above so below so um, I believe the magician card is associated with the planet Mercury so maybe look at where Mercury lies in your chart and how that can be affecting you your ability to communicate because that's what Mercury is all about communications be it through technology be it through um, just voice verbal communication so take a look at that if it's not mercury it's mars but i do i do believe it's the planet mercury but yeah some of you guys don't know how to get yourselves out of the funk that you have found yourselves in having a hard time moving on but why would you want to carry these burdens why why are you so hung up on the pain why do you want to take that into every situation every relationship you're letting that like literally bleed into all areas and aspects of your life what good does that serve you it doesn't because you're, you're not going to be able to truly be happy if you can't let it go That's the thing about the Six of Cups. It's like, you can look back on the past all you want, right? And wish for the good old days, but you will never be able to get them back. 
you have to figure out how you can recreate those types of moments um, in your present life and going forward. You know, some things just weren't meant to work out, be it a career, be it a relationship, be it something that you may have been trying to do health wise that just wasn't working for you, a certain lifestyle change that just wasn't working for you, or just lifestyle altogether, trying to keep up with the Joneses. Because somebody very well could have found out that you're a fraud. Page of Cups is all about recognition of self and true self, self-reflection or just a realization of some sort. It can be a card about self-love and being too wrapped up in oneself um, to the point of narcissism. But somebody, again, can very well have found out that you're a fraud. You found out that somebody else that you were dealing with was a fraud, um, that you could not live up to who you said you were, or they couldn't. And that's kind of put you in a bind in some sense. made you kind of feel like well damn I can't believe like I believed them what was I thinking what was I thinking such a fool for putting my trust into this person but I mean it's a lesson learned you move forward and I can see that happening a lot especially in business um, especially as you're trying to start your own business and make a name for yourself but as we're moving into the end of July, I really just want to say don't sweat the small stuff. You have a lot to be thankful for, regardless of the circumstances that you have found yourself in. An unsatisfactory relationship that you have found yourself in. Sorry if I've been blocking myself with the cards. But you have a lot to be thankful for with the Six of Wands card. If somebody tried to steal an idea from you, hey, there we go, that's a read. It wasn't the only one that you had. It wasn't the only one that would be successful. And nobody can do what you do as well as you do it. So they can definitely take that idea from you, right? Go ahead, have it. Let me see how well you do with it. They won't, you know? It will never be what it was meant to be um, under your supervision and under your direction. But I definitely feel like um, majority of you, if you have been feeling down by the end of July, you will pick yourself back up. Or you may just hear the very thing that you need from a very good friend, somebody that is um, in your, what is it called? I don't want to say like a support group because it makes it seem like you go to like AA meetings, but somebody that just really does have your best interest at heart and somebody that does support you you may hear what you need at this time you may get an invite to go to a party and that lifts your spirits literally that lifts your spirits and that helps you let go of all of this because you're able to really see just how good you have it just how good things have been or just how good things can be you can see how lucky you are because a lot of people say you know wish upon a star you know make a wish hey make a wish this month go outside yeah and watch the night sky and speak some new intentions and see that come back to you I feel like some of you definitely would fare well with spending more time in nature in the month of July. But it's okay. If anybody has wronged you, they won't get away with it. You come out um, the other end, right? Like basically, nobody can dim your shine. Nobody but you. You're in control, right? So take the reins. Take the reins in your life. Direct the winds, direct the sails. If this is about a romantic relationship. That's what's been troubling you as far as holding on to the past and past heartbreak. That you can't see this person trying to give you love. That's trying to um, be receptive and that is there to be um, understanding of your circumstances 
and what has made you the person that you are today. This is somebody that can be very understanding, somebody that is loyal, somebody that is um, very attentive, but somebody that is abundant, that has their own goals and their own ambitions. You have a lot in front of you. You just need to turn around and see it. And or vice versa energy, right? If this is not somebody else that's trying to be a part of your life, this is you trying to be a part of somebody else's. But in order to have this success in this relationship, in order to move it forward, in order to be able to go to new heights, you have to you have to lighten the load, that's what I'm hearing with this seven of um, swords. You have to be willing to be vulnerable. I'm also getting that with the six of cups, just because you can see through the garment that the woman is wearing in this image, which is psyche, which is your soul. Your soul wants to open up. Your soul needs to open up, but definitely don't jump in before you're ready, right? Make sure you're communicating that if you're not because of what has happened already and your mistrust for relationships just by the way that they have always unfolded for you. But you also have to think differently. Get creative with it. What if it works out? You know, this might be the one. This could be the one. This could be the one. But, um, you know, the truth. That's what I'm getting. The truth will set you free. So once you really open up and you have that moment, that will set you free. And that opens up the floodgates for you to um, embark, really, on this journey. A more successful journey in life and in this relationship and in your work. Because... Whatever this Three of Swords is, it's really affecting all other areas of your life. So you can't be successful until you heal this aspect. And it's like you know that. Okay. So do the healing that is necessary. So that you can be open to receiving these things that are around you. They are all around you and the universe is here to support you. You just have to ask again, wish upon a star say your prayers um, write them down if you need to just start speaking more positive words of affirmation so that you can get out of this rut that you have been in so that's what I'm pulling for you guys as far as chakras go your heart chakra is definitely underactive um, your third eye crown chakra are underactive And pay more attention to your dreams too. I'm getting that. Um, your, no, I'm sorry. Your root chakra might be a little overactive, so rebalance that. And your throat chakra is underactive. So if you don't know how to do that, I will leave the link in the description box below. But if this resonated for you, definitely give me a thumbs up. Share this with your friends and family, and do subscribe for more.